likely sound attractive to you. A food delivery service that launched in Milwaukee 10 months ago wants to put food rejected by grocery stores in your kitchen pantries. Our Jenna Sachs puts imperfect produce to the contact six test. Mom of two, Lauren O'Brien has been thinking about jumping feet first into a food delivery service. Oh man, he's going in the mud. And now that imperfect produce is delivering to Cedarburg, the mom blogger is giving it a try for contact six. I love that it's just produce delivery to your house and not like you have to go on and do the whole order thing. Imperfect produce sells cosmetically ugly and surplus produce from farms, which might otherwise be used as animal feed, sold to a processor or left in a field. I like that you can choose veggies or fruits mm -hmm. or the mix. We select a large mixed box with up to 19 pounds of food. It's a super pretty website. You can customize, but we choose not to. Cedarburg's delivery day is Thursday. Shipping costs $4.99. The grand total, about $26. I'm just curious to see what they send. Our produce rolls up in a white marked van during our delivery window. The driver leaves it on the doorstep, snaps a picture, and rings the doorbell. Inside the box, food two-year-old JoJo recognizes. Ouch. Ooh. Carry for carrot for bunnies. For bunnies, okay. And some things she's not so familiar with. What else? What's that? Uh, Is that a little pepper? There's lemons, potatoes, avocados, and fennel. Lauren observes it actually isn't all that ugly. The apples are tinier, which is fine because I have toddlers. And then the carrots are pretty large. But then the tomatoes are maybe a little bit on the small side. Some of the most common feedback we get is it's kind of underwhelmingly imperfect some weeks. Riley Brock of Imperfect Produce says right now a lot of their food is coming from farms in California and Mexico. But the company does work with the Wisconsin Food Hub Cooperative to buy from local farms during harvest season. They network up us with dozens of different farmers out there in Wisconsin growing things like cucumbers and squash and kale and peppers. He says their produce has a similar shelf life to what you find at the grocery store and costs about 30% less. We compare the price of five imperfect produce items to pick and save and three times pick and save was cheaper. Imperfect produce marks down the cost further for people on food stamps. In full disclosure, we don't even make money off these boxes, but we offer them because we think it's the right thing to do. And we have about 10,000 individuals enrolled in this now. Can I put your bib on, babe? Imperfect or not, the food passes the taste test at Lauren's house, who says they'll use the service again. That feels like a really good deal, like what you get at like a farmer's market. Imperfect Produce is a weekly service. It sells organic and non-organic boxes sent from a distribution center in St. Francis. Right now, the delivery area is Cedarburg, South Oak Creek, and out west to Waukesha. The company does plan to expand. I'm Jenna Sachs. Contact six. Transforming.